Today we're going to compare three dehydrators. So what's the best food dehydrator to buy? Let's, Let's find, find out, out right, right now. now. Hey, Kenny and Joanne here. If you're looking for tips for better health, you come to the right place. So please subscribe and ring the bell like Artie. I love Ninja products. It started out with a coffee maker. And I loved it so much, I got the personal blender. And then the air fryer oven. And then the foodie blender. We compared that blender to the Vitamix in this video. Today we're comparing the Excalibur dehydrator to the dehydration settings on the Ninja Air Fryer and the Samsung convection oven. So let's get started right now. Before dehydrating raw nuts and seeds, they need to be soaked first in order to release the enzyme inhibitors. These pecans need to be soaked for four to six hours and rinsed thoroughly. First, I'll spread the halves on one dehydrator sheet and the pieces on another. Now I'll slice up some mango strips and some orange slices. I can't wait to try these strawberries. I also sliced some pineapple and kiwi. This looks like a great combination for a snack mix. These are Excalibur sheets. This is to test the Samsung oven. And this is to test the Ninja air fryer. What's your favorite food to dehydrate? Let us know in the comments below. Round one. Temperature accuracy. We used this digital thermometer to measure the air temperature of each appliance. Each device was set to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. It looks like the Excalibur is pretty close. Easily within one degree, which is within the tolerance of the thermometer. Let's see how accurate the Samsung convection oven is. Uh-oh! Even though it's set at 115, it's actually 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That is well over the 118 degrees Fahrenheit to keep the food raw and its enzymes intact. So we'll need to set the oven temperature 15 degrees lower to compensate. What about the Ninja air fryer? Oh boy, it's actually 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess we'll have to set it 5 degrees lower to compensate. So let's start with a 9-tray Excalibur food dehydrator. It's rather large and noisy so we keep it in my office. It's got a 26-hour timer and automatic shutoff. We're going to fill up the Excalibur with more than just the test tray. Starting with the pecan halves and the pecan pieces. Now the strawberries. the pineapples, and the test tray with mango, oranges, and kiwi. Attach the door, set the temperature to 115 degrees Fahrenheit since it was accurate and the timer to 12 hours. It may take longer than that, but we can check on them later. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button now. It really helps us out. Now let's try the Samsung convection oven. Remember the actual temperature is 15 degrees higher than the set temperature, so let's set it at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The convection fan turns off when the door is open. Let's put in the test tray and wait 12 hours or so. Okay, now for the Ninja air fryer. Let's put in the test tray. Oops, I forgot. Since its actual temperature is 5 degrees higher than the set temperature, we need to set it to 110 degrees to compensate. Stick around to the end to see which one wins. Round 2. Quiet motor. 
We already knew the Excalibur was the loudest, but we wanted to measure the decibels of each appliance for this comparison. It looks like the Excalibur is 66 to 67 decibels. The Samsung oven is 49 decibels. And the Ninja is 58 decibels. Don't forget to download our free five day meal plan in the description below. Round three. Advantages and disadvantages. We'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages as we score our competitors for each category. Once the temperature was adjusted to an actual 115 degrees Fahrenheit, all of the dehydrators produced virtually the same quality of food. Taste and quality were nearly identical, so we did not include them in the scoring. We bought our Excalibur back in February 2014 for $273. It costs about $323 now on Amazon. The Ninja is $209.99 on Amazon right now, but we just saw it at Kroger for $189.99. The Samsung convection oven is just over $1,600 at Lowe's. For this competition, we're not considering cost as a factor since the appliances are so diverse. For portability, the Ninja gets the perfect score since it is the lightest. The Excalibur is light as well, but just enough larger to make it a bit awkward to carry, so we gave it a 9 out of 10. The Samsung oven is obviously not portable at all, so we had to give it a 0 out of 10. For the footprint size or how much counter space each takes up, the Samsung oven obviously takes no counter space and even brings some of its own, so it got a perfect score. We also gave the Ninja a perfect score since it is the smallest and has the flip feature that allows it to be tucked away. The Excalibur takes up quite a bit of counter space, so we put it in my office. We gave it an 8 out of 10. Now, the Excalibur shines in the area of capacity. It holds nine large trays of food, so it's the gold standard here. The Samsung will fit six of these trays if they overlap a bit, so using a ratio, we gave it a 6.7 out of 10. The Ninja's small size can be a strong advantage, but not here. It barely fits a full-size tray, so using the ratio again, we gave it a 1.1 out of 10. In the area of quietness, the Samsung was the clear winner, so we gave it a perfect score. Using the decibel difference ratio from the Samsung, we gave the Ninja an 8.2 out of 10. That same ratio calculates to a 6.4 out of 10 for the Excalibur, since it was the loudest. That's the main reason we keep it in my office. For temperature accuracy, the Excalibur was the clear winner and earned its perfect score. The Ninja was 5 degrees too hot, so its ratio calculation came to a 9.6 out of 10. The Samsung was 15 degrees too hot, so its ratio calculation came to an 8.7 out of 10. Given these scores, the Excalibur has a total of 43.4. The Samsung has a total of 35.4. And the Ninja has a total of 38.9. So the Excalibur wins the competition! So which way is really the best way to go? It's really a personal choice and what's best for your family and your lifestyle. With the Excalibur, it's fully dedicated to dehydration and it doesn't tie up any other functions. If you already have a convection oven with this feature, there's no need to get another dehydrator. Just be sure to get an oven thermometer and test the temperature just to make sure it's accurate and adjust it accordingly. Also with the oven and the Ninja, you cannot use any of the other features that the appliances have because it's going to be tied up for quite some time with the dehydration process. But with the oven, at least you can use a stove top. Watch these videos next. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.